Hi guys, Sean Little with Vapor Trail Tactical. I'm going to talk today about selecting a PDA and a ballistics program for shooting. A couple years ago, my Palm PDA wound up breaking on me, and I was using the Horse Vision ATRAG 1P program at the time. When the PDA broke, I wanted to find a relatively inexpensive replacement uh, for that uh, PDA and program. Uh, I wound up selecting the Apple iTouch. They run about $150 to $180. And once you get onto iTunes, you can select a bunch of different programs to download. There's, a, I'm sure there's several more programs to select from these days. But the three programs that I picked are the Knight's Armament Bullet Flight, uh, Ballistic FTE, and Mildot Ballistics. Uh, the Mildot Ballistics one is uh, actually the newest one that I've downloaded and it uh, works out pretty well. I'm going to go over these three real quick and just kind of go over the features and I'm going to talk about setting these uh, these things up later in a different video. Talk about the Knight's Armament. Knight's Armament is uh, extremely user friendly. It already comes with a bunch of different calibers and uh, rifles already in the uh, already in the uh, program such as the Knight's Armament 110 with 118 the M107, which is the 50 cal that the military uses, and then I went in and selected my own to be able to program in on your own. Uh, has a couple different utilities in it that you can use. Uh, one of the drawbacks to this uh, particular program is whenever you set it up for doing your range estimation, if I set this up and use 1.15, so I have 1.15, and then I hit done, it actually rounds it down. So if I'm range estimating at greater distances, the uh, more precise I can be, uh, the better off I'm, I'm going to, or the more accurate of a reading I'm going to get with this rounding down or rounding up. Uh, it's not going to give me as accurate of a range estimation as I want. Uh, so that's a drawback to that. And has a couple different range card like that, do the chart, and it gives you all your charts, uh, yards, inches, all your information at the top there, and then you can also go back and do a simple calculation and just scroll through and set up, and it gives you all your information at the bottom there. It's a relatively easy program to use and uh, works really well. The next one I'm going to cover is no dot Ballistics. Bulldog Ballistics, I selected this one because I get uh, finer increments on my range estimation for my mill reading and it will give me a more accurate uh, range. So at the top you select your target size, I select the 10 inch target and down here uh, gives me into the hundreds for my mill reading so I can get down to 1.15 mils gives me a range of 241 yards right. and then uh, of course as you get uh, smaller increments so as you can see 0.3 mils is 925 yards 0.35 793 yards it's over a hundred yard difference so like I said getting as precise as you possibly can uh, is really important target speed being able to set up moving targets right? This particular program has all these presets. So you can go in and set up presets, select your preset, go in, calculates it up for you, and it gives you your lead. If you double click on this down at the bottom, it'll give you your combined windage and lead and based on your wind and your target speed. Works out really good. It's extremely accurate. Works uh have your uh, your angle, you can set it up as an angle as an angle indicator. All right, works really good, really good program. I've been really impressed with this so far and it works real well. Next one is Ballistic FTE. The FTE is a little more complicated to set up. Uh, still follows the same parameters as before. Uh, has a range estimation program in there and you got to fill in a little bit more stuff, not as user, user friendly. Uh, has a 
a data sheet so you can log in your your uh, your record like a data book. Right, it has the different targets that you can select. So if you're shooting F class, you can have your F class targets and bullseye targets for the different types of shooting sports that you may encounter. And that one works out pretty good also. Like I said, it's a little more complicated, but uh, still, still fairly easy to use once you kind of play with it a little bit. But uh, as usual, with all these ballistic programs are just a guideline. You need to go out and shoot for the data in which it gives you and uh, and confirm that and record that in a data, in a data book. So uh, next video I'll cover about how to set up the programs themselves so that they give you correct and accurate information. Uh, until next video, keep a point of aim, point of impact.